Let's see how to install a custom firmware onto this camera, GoPro Hero 5 session, to use QR codes from your mobile phone for example. Go here to this web address which is community.gopro.com Okay, and on this page come here to GoPro Labs, get started, and here are the cameras which are available. This is the Hero 5 session, so click on that one and it's downloading a firmware. Let's open it, open in a folder. Here's a zip file, it says 48 megabytes. Let's enter into it. There's a folder called update and free files. So let's go here to the folder, copy it, get up there and paste it out there. So I just unpacked the content of the zip file and let's delete the zip file. And this one, the folder has to be placed onto the memory card of the camera. So let's open the camera. There's the memory card. It comes out at an angle. Insert the memory card into a card reader of your computer. Let's copy this update folder, so the entire folder, not just the files. Copy and paste it out there onto the memory card of the GoPro. Remove the memory card. Insert it into the camera. And close it. Automatically an icon appeared here. One, two, LEDs are turning on and off. Two out of two. The firmware of the camera is being updated. Everything seems to be okay. Let's try this one, QR control. And let's point the camera to that QR code. It said it's good. If it's not recognizing the code then increase the brightness of your screen. So here's the phone, it's showing a QR code, let's set it to, let's say, 2.7K, it's automatically updating the QR code. Now on the camera, press the lower button, okay, and then press it again to show some text, it says QR code ready. Now when you are in the menu, it will not turn off, and then position it any way you want, it says good scan good scan good scan good scan <laughs> so it's 2.7k okay now if i put it let's say to 4k good scan and the camera sign and it's 4k it has to say good scan for example if i go to exit menu turn off the camera if I press the lower button just once, then the camera will turn off, like so, it's off. Now let's modify it to, let's say, 1080p. So press the lower button, press the lower button again, and when it's in the menu, it will not turn off. Now put it over it, good scan, camera sign, and it should show 1080p. 30 frames per second, 1080, yes, so the settings were applied. So for example, now if I press the button, it's beeping and the LEDs are on. Let's stop it, it's beeping and LEDs are on. So press the lower button here, okay, wait a few moments after it finishes recording. Press the lower button again, that one, now here, we have Protune, we have Preferences, and the beep volume is set to 100. Set it to, let's say, 0. And LEDs are all on. LEDs, that's all off. And now, hold it there. Good scan. The screen was not bright enough. Now, let's see, will it power off? Or press the lower button until you go to exit menu and press the top to turn off the camera okay now if i press the top button it should start recording 
and the LEDs are not flashing so it's silent and just one LED flashed when the camera turned on but then they are not on no LED no sound